Got a nice mystery package from Rocker Gaming, although it's a mystery to you, not to me. Hey, what's up gamers and collectors, DGC back with another video, and today we've got a package from the one and only Rocker Gaming. Good buddy of mine, he is the one who modded my Sega Saturn and my GameCube. Uh, the GameCube video will be coming out here shortly, hopefully within the next few weeks of you watching this video, it should be wrapping up finally. Uh, it has been a long process, but there are two things in here that I kind of wanted to make the GameCube video the way that I wanted to make it. So let's go ahead and just jump into this. Alright, so let's go ahead and slice this bad boy open and see what's inside. Oh, I broke it. Alright, so as always, he packages things really well. Um, so right off the bat, I knew he was sending me this. Um, so what this is right here is a 3D printed um, N64... Um, I don't really know what you would call this, like where the cart rests inside, the cartridge slot, I guess you could say. And I have a teal N64, so for mine, I requested a um, translucent one. So yeah, this is relatively translucent. It's probably just not coming up on the uh, camera too well. But this is really slick. Um, so he actually prints these himself. And um, yeah. Let's go ahead and install this real quick and see what it looks like. So essentially what this will let you do is play imported games on your N64, so for me this was kind of a no-brainer because that's kind of something I want to lean toward more in 2018 is getting not a lot. There's probably about 10 N64 games that I want to import and then I'm done, but with this that will make it a lot easier because all N64s are region free if you weren't aware of that. Well, NTSC J and NTSC U are essentially the same system, it's just this was different. Um, Alright, so here we've got the... Alright, so as you can see, this is a nice minty spice orange GameCube controller. And this is not the American one, this is actually a Japanese one. Not that it makes any difference, but it's kind of just the one I wanted. Oh, these sticks are nice and tight too. Okay. Alright, now... Um, we're going to save this one for last. So here's something that we're going to go ahead and grab out of here. Alright, so here is a PS3 game that I own digitally due to PlayStation Plus. It never came out physically in America on PS3. However, it did come out physically... well actually... Yeah, it did come out physically on a Saturn in America. Uh, that being uh, Darkstalkers um, on the Saturn, and this is Vampire Resurrection, which is basically Darkstalkers. So this came out on PS3 only in Japan, physically. I can confirm that you can play this on an American system. And uh, this is actually kind of getting a little pricey here in America, so I'm glad he had an extra copy to send me. Um, I thought this was a note from him. I have no idea what this says in Japanese, but it's still cool to have. <laughs> um, so what's cool about this is the the menus aren't too difficult to figure out. Being Most fighting games really aren't too difficult to figure out when you hop through the menus to figure out this is arcade mode, this is you know championship mode, tournament mode, etc, etc. So if I were you, I definitely recommend trying to find one of these on eBay or Amazon or wherever you can find one. Uh, and again, this is Vampire Resurrection. Really cool game. Great fighting game. Um, it looks really good on the PS3. It, to my surprise, I, I, I didn't think it would hold up very well, but for a 2D fighter, it actually looks really good. Alright. 
So as always, I try to save something juicy for the end. Uh, so in here is something that I've been wanting for basically ever since I saw it. Uh, this is a GameCube accessory that we never got here in the States. I guess it could be considered an accessory. Um, so to me, this is kind of like one of the last pieces that I wanted for my GameCube collection. Um, I pretty much have everything that I want for it at this point. Uh, that being the emerald green GameCube controller. Um, turquoise, emerald, whatever you want to call it. It's my favorite color. Um, so, my favorite system, favorite color, what's not to love. He uh, he actually ended up retro brighting this for me. It was a little yellow from the pictures he initially showed me, but um, super beautiful. Uh, this is now going to be my new main stick. There's not a scratch on this bad boy. It looks amazing. Uh, I can't thank you enough, Rocker. Uh, these <laughs> two awesome GameCube controllers, Vampire Resurrection, and this uh, N64 cartridge slot. So nice little care package he sent to me. Uh, I did actually pay for this, just to clarify. Um, man, <laughs> so awesome fighting game. Two really great GameCube controllers. These are mint too. They look brand new. Um, I, uh, <laughs> really great condition and uh, this so if you do want to happen to get one of these I'm sure he will um, be more than happy to work some kind of deal out with you I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this I, I, I don't want to misquote myself here but I think it was 10 bucks uh, shipped so definitely go ahead and message him if you want to grab one of these up uh, really nice and he can actually make them in different colors too if you want so that's going to be it for this short little video, and uh, hopefully you uh, got some nice information out of this. And as always, peace out for now. Until next time. Come here, you mother... I'm on This is it, baby.